this what my colleague uh, rukmini ra correspondent from bangalore has caught up with uh, the man of the moment vishal sikash began by asking him if he thought they are closer to achieving their aspirational 2020 goal of 20 billion dollars the 20 billion is an aspirational target that we have but not only 20 billion also 30 percent margin and 80,000 mm. revenue per employee because uh, we want to elevate the way that we work and uh, so that continues to be our aspiration and, and our endeavor and uh, uh, as we get closer to it we, we more clearly see it um, it is going to be a combination of this, this dual strategy that I talk about of renewing our existing our core business through a combination of automation and innovation so that has been making huge progress this last quarter we saved uh, 2650 mm. full-time equivalent jobs because of automation mm. and um, we have really seen a very deep and wide wide-ranging adoption of embrace of automation just yesterday i was watching a poster session on machine learning mm. adoption in our teams through the first machine learning class that we did recently and uh, um, so so this is uh, and, and then with that freed up capacity to become more innovative uh, is something that we are extremely, uh, you know, proud of already, the results of zero distance and so forth. Mm. And you see that in the client satisfaction survey. And that renewal will have to be augmented by the new growth in new. And there also we are making huge progress. So we have doubled again uh, in MANA adoption quarter on quarter. So all three quarters we have doubled. Mm. Um, and all MANA, SCAVA, EDGE and PANA all had their best quarters ever. So, so this is, it's going to be a journey to 20 billion is going to be a combination of these. Vishal, of course, you live in the U.S. United States under Trump, there's already a lot of negative voice uh, that we are hearing, especially on the H-1B visa front. What is it uh, going to be for the Indian IT companies under Trump and especially how much of a worry really uh, the H-1B noise currently is for you? I think that uh, we don't know what the policy is going to be, so it is too early to tell. Uh, depending on the nature of the policy, it can have an impact, uh, from s small impact to larger impact. Uh, but longer term, we expect that the administration is going to be a mm. business-friendly and innovation-friendly administration, a entrepreneurial administration. And so therefore, if we continue to focus our attention on delivering value through innovation, through helping our clients advance their strategic agenda, helping them achieve cost savings, I think that these other things, the policy things, will just take care of themselves. And um, local hiring is a good idea. Mm. We are absolutely committed to that. Um, when I start, since I started, we have been working on this, um, and you know, I am myself a local hire, and uh, um, so we are committed to U.S. jobs and uh, uh, to dramatically expanding that. And I think that is a good idea, anyway, so that the clients can get the best of both the local and the global um, business practices. Sure, you have elevated one of your presidents to uh, you know deputy COO post. Really, what is this indicative of? Uh, and are they, you know, are we, are we looking at more changes coming by, especially uh, in the management bandwidth? Um, the, uh, you know, Ravi has done an extraordinary job in the last two years as the head of delivery, and our scale has improved dramatically. You know, when I started, our revenue was a little bit more than eight billion. Now we are, we just crossed ten billion. So with that scale, for Praveen and I need more bandwidth. So Ranga, when Ranga had set up his finance team, uh, Jayesh uh, is his deputy CFO. Uh, similarly, we are setting up um, Ravi as deputy COO under Praveen, and um, uh, you know Praveen and I, more than a COO CEO, it's a it's a very deeply trusted collaborative partnership, and we jointly run the company. He is here, and I'm in the U.S. flying around, um, and so I think with this we we can achieve more. A more bandwidth and scale in our work. Sure. Uh, one final question, Vishal, in terms of uh, what you're hearing from the clients in the U.S. Is, uh, you know, f a calendar year 2017 looking to be more positive to in uh, 2016? Um, I, I, you know, yeah, I think it is. We see a lot of optimism around us. Um, we see a lot of um, signs of, of progress. Uh, but in general, the big change that is happening in the world around us is the technological change. It is the change because of software, because of digital technology. That will only continue to accelerate. That is happening in every industry. So I think all the other seasonal, cyclical things uh, come and go, and they affect everybody. But it is really the... Uh, our ability to address the technological change, the AI-led change, mm. the digital change, that is going to make a difference for us as a company in the long run, and that is what we are focused on. Well, Andrew